Hello everybody, it's Relapse Stars, and I'm playing a game called The Silent Age, and this came out not too long ago on Steam. So, what I know, I think it's a point and click game. Oh, I just realized that there was something to read there. Okay, 1965. I'm hoping that this is a good game for like a playthrough, and... Oh, okay. Nineteen sixty-eight. Just jumping through years here. Military. Nineteen sixty nine. Let me get this off this. I'll bring it over here. 1971. I'm cleaning bathrooms. This game was released, I think, right now when I'm playing it, it's only been like out for a day or two. 1972. So I figured, hey, it's a new game. It's it's pretty. It's looked pretty good. So there's a sticky note near the door. It says, "Joe, Mr. Hill." Ah, oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't finish that. Hmm. I wonder what the boss wants. In the two years I worked here, he hasn't talked to me once. All right. What's this? What's this say? 23rd floor offices. It's the top management floor where Mr. Hill's office is. No, I don't want to go yet. I want to look down here. Red access card, whatever, elevator door. Can I use this? It's a red access card reader. It uses flat cards instead of keys. This company is full of modern technology like that. How about this room? What is this? The janitor closet? Supply room. Okay. Last one. Alright, what else we got in here? I should get some light in here before I break anything. This? No light. I should change the bulb. No shit. Change it. Alright. How about that one? Oh wait. Do I literally need to... Okay. Click on this. and Alright. I'm getting it. There. That should work. Beautiful. Ah. Bright. Alright. What's this? It's one of those thick rubber gloves used for cleaning things in the labs. Is that just nothing? Borax, citric acid, eye wash, bleach, and hand soap. Some of the labels have peeled off, but I keep them in alphabetical order, so that's okay. How about up here? Anything? It's a mix of detergents and thing I found and things I found in the offices. Okay, I already read that. Alright, wait, look on the table first. It's the access card for the management floor. Awesome. I found this out back after last year's summer party. Perfectly good table just left out in the rain. I got that baby cleaned out real good and installed it in here. Uh, these barrels were brought in here about a year ago. I don't mind them. I have plenty of space and they hardly smell at all. God, is this how this guy's living? It's the good chair. It's where Frank sits. He's been here a good deal longer than I have, so he has... I didn't finish reading that, but whatever. Alright, I guess we're done here. I've got the key card and a glove. That key card goes here, right? Blue? It's a blue access card reader, this... Yeah. Alright, yeah. I got a blue access card. I love that noise. Permission to enter the bridge, sir. Oh, who's that? Secretary. 
What's the modern art? It's beautiful. The title reads in into it. Let it repeat. All right. It's some kind of. I'm almost afraid of calling it a square because it's obviously something deeper, but that's what it looks like, a square. This is modern art. That looks like a square, 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 inside of this big square. How about this one? The title reads, The Gestal of Saturn Veal just looks like a couple of color boxes to me. I am really bad at words. I'm not sure if I got that right. It's common, I'm not trying. I'm not a botanist or anything, but I used to have one at home. Fuck. Talk to the secretary. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, there you are, sweetie. Mr. Hill's expecting you. Just walk right in. What's the matter, sugar? Can I got your tongue? Just get your honey in there. <laughs> All right. So there is talking in this game. It looks like something dumped an urn in there. I could have sworn I emptied it. Uh, I'm a really slow reader, aren't I? Trash can is almost full. I'll empty it later. Another plant. Yeah, it just says the same thing. Right on in there. Just expect two years of working here. And just randomly he wants to talk to me now. World clocks. I'm thinking of installing some more clocks myself, add a bit of class to my office. Although I'm not- oh. I have no idea what the graph represents, but whatever it is, it seems to be going well. Yep. Just look at the window. I've never been one for heights, but behind this- these thick panes of glass I can sort of appreciate the view. Picture of Nixon. I thought that looked like Nixon. It's our president, Honest, Honest Richard, I call him. I think it will catch on. Ashtray. Even the ashtray looks expensive. You expensive bastard. I'm looking at your phone. Red phone. You can usually tell success by the amount of phones people keep on their desks. I don't have a desk. <laughs> it's... It's Joe, sir. Uh, of course, Joseph. Uh, how long is it that you've been with this company, Joseph? About two years, sir. Ah, yes, then by now you must know that what we do here is very important. National security may be just a word to most people, Jasper, but for men like you and I, it means so much more. We see the people behind those words. We understand that it means the safety of every citizen in this country, not to mention the shareholders and the hard-working clerks and stakeholders at the government funding agencies. It also means a lot of pressure. A lot. And some men just... buckle. Which brings me to the main point of my agenda. A position just opened up, and we're promoting you, Jasper. It... it I'm... Sir? <laughs> think the company doesn't notice its hard-working employees. We reward achievement in this organization, young man. And you've just made yourself a gold star. This means that from now on, you will be in charge of not only yours, but Frank's assignments too. That's right. <laughs> that... that means downstairs lab sanitation, drain assignments, the works, with all the clearance that entails. That's a lot of responsibility we're investing in you, Jasper. I, I thank you, sir. Uh, but what about Frank? I know yeah, what about him? Team, but Frank... Decided to pursue a different career path this morning. That's we smart. Wish him all the best. <laughs> oh, and of course you understand that we won't be able to present you with a fancy title or a measurable pay raise. This is a modern company, you understand. We like to keep a flat organizational structure here. I asshole. Well, congratulations, Jasper. I bet you must be very excited to get back to work with all your new responsibilities. That's perfectly understandable. I won't keep you a minute longer. Here's your key card. This guy's an asshole. I don't like him. Just keep walking. Out the door. So, I got the red key card. Alright, so basically what that guy just said was, I'm taking over my friend's work without a pay raise or new title or anything. I'm basically just doing more work for 
for less. More, not less, more work for the same amount of money. Like, that's retarded as all hell. And I said it was smart when he left this job, because this doesn't seem like a good job. I keep forgetting to click on these. Open sesame. <laughs> a drop of blood. Looks like blood. Maybe someone cut themselves or a lab animal got loose or something. Either way, I'll be one mopping up this time. I'll be the one mopping up this time. How about this? It's a tinfoil hat. Nice one, too. Okay. What, do I click this? Sub-basement base. Click, click. Click. Reminds me of that Pong machine they just got down at Izzy's. That thing's amazing. I've been down there almost every night after hours since they set it up. Frank says it'll fry my brain, but I think it works just fine. Large processing unit. It's a big computery thing. I'm really not sure. Oh my god. I suck. The glass is toned, but it looks like a bunch of containers with tubes sticking out. Can I get in here? The label on the keypad says cryogenics. It's locked. This one looks like it's broken. I'm not much of an engineer, but there seems to be something attached to two of the wires that clearly don't belong there. I could remove it and put the panel back in place if I had something to protect my hands. Rubber glove! Got it. I removed the thing and pushed... Really? You removed the thing? That's how you're gonna go with that sentence? Good thing I got that glove. Okay. Something fell out of the coat. Looks like a handkerchief. Note to self, don't touch anything. I'm gonna touch everything. What's this say? It's a very expensive data processing unit. It doesn't actually say expensive, but I think it's a fair guess. The warning sign reads, Caution, keep away from liquid materials. Oh boy, more blood. Management needs to know about this. I'll need proof this time, though. Ever since that stupid Halloween prank the science department pulled on me last year, I don't think they'll make take me seriously again. What's this? Far out. It's one of those doors where two people have to turn keys at the same time to open it. It's like something out of a secret agent movie. Only this one doesn't use keys, just buttons. Hank Chief. The button is a little bit shinier now. It did nothing to open the door though. What the hell do I do? Far out. It's one of those doors where people, where two, oh, all right. He said far out that time. Uh, there's nothing in here. I don't get it. Wait, before I leave, I really should get some of that blood, so oh, that's what this is for. Okay. I'm not stupid, I figured it out. The handkerchief soaked up some of the blood. I need to get this to management. Let's go. <laughs> Sticking with me. Why, why do I have this crap job? This guy seems like he's capable of so much more than being a janitor for a bunch of dickbags. Did the elevator shake like this before? I'm just gonna go with the assumption it did, and I didn't notice. Alright, going up to management. Let... Was that there before? Yeah, I think it was. I'm... Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. Hey! Are you gonna say anything different this time? You know what? I don't have time. I gotta get this blood into management. It's locked. I'll have to talk to... I guess that's... Alright, I have to talk to her. Alright, what's up? Um, Miss Goulet? Mm-hmm. I, I, 
Some, something's bad. The downstairs handkerchief has basement all over the blood. Uh, no, I, I mean... <laughs> heavens, sugar. That rag's got blood all over. Have you hurt yourself again? No. No, no, it, it's... <sighs> we keep telling you boys to follow company safety policy. I send out memos almost every week. I honestly don't know why I bother sometimes. You may look like capable grown men in those boiler suits, but you're really just big boys, ain't you? But I'm not the one who... No need to explain. Let me just take care of that for you. Now, let's see what Gloria has for you here. Ooh, nice clean band-aid. Just go wash up and put that on. It'll be as good as new. Hey. Right. Now run along, you little scamp. <clears throat> what do I need to use the band-aid for? Is this still locked? Of course it is. I'm can I just talk to her again or is she kinda of saying the same? Way to go, Joe. After that performance, she probably thinks you're retarded or something. Better get back to the labs and find out more about more before you make bigger whatever I didn't finish reading. I keep me I mess up on one word in the sentence, and all hell breaks loose. Okay, so it's pretty much just back and forth so far. Oh, I didn't interact with that. Weird. The hatch is open, but I don't remember hearing about any inspection or repairs being done today. Uh, ho, ho. That's probably where the blood's dripping down from. Blood trail. This is no case of nosebleeds. It looks serious. I got to show... Oh, alright, alright. Is something different gonna be in here this time? What the hell do I use a band-aid for? This, this is killing me. Far out. All right, I gotta figure out what to use this band-aid on. There was something that I had to do. Oh, tipped over trash can. Frank must have left in a hurry. I can't imagine he would leave a mess like this. I'm literally at a loss. I don't know what the hell to do. Can I band-aid on myself? Oh my god. If this takes too long to figure this out, I might have to cut some of this out. Uh, I got an idea. Put this over one of the buttons. I'm a genius. <laughs> wow what the hell injured man yeah I'll be with you in a minute just let me check this out first this man needs my help I don't have time for this okay I'm coming <laughs> whoa mister are you alright you're, you're bleeding huh, that's that's a lot of blood uh, stay right here I'll go get help oh my no. god back and forth okay don't don't get anyone are you alone? Mm hmm I'm not sure what- I asked you a question. Are you <laughs> alone? Yes, yes, I came down here by myself. Good enough. Listen, <coughs> I'm shot mad. I don't have a lot of time, but I'm also not important. At least this version of me isn't. What's important is that you understand what I am about to tell you now. <laughs> should, should I be writing this down? I don't have anything to write with. Shut up and pay attention! <laughs> You're standing on the brink of an extinction-level event, set in motion by greedy half-wits that will eventually end the lives of every man, woman, and child on the planet. Damn. I know this because I'm partially to blame. 
And though I realized our folly in time, less sane and more senior heads prevailed. I have arrived from 40 years into the future to prevent it from happening. Time travel? Things are obviously vastly more complex than this, but for lack of time to explain this properly to an insufficiently primed recipient intellect, I am what you would probably perceive as a time traveler. Knew it. Mister, you've obviously lost a lot of blood. Quiet! I have planned this out in every detail for the better part of my life. And I'll be damned if I will let it fail because of a single gun-toting overachieving parking attendant who wasn't where he was supposed to be at this point in time. <coughs> Thankfully, you look fleeceable enough to be coaxed into performing one simple task for me. I... I want you to find me and tell me about this event before I depart for the past. <laughs> You'll need this. I want you to go and find me. It is a portable interdimensional planar membrane chronosync instrument. English. Yeah, da da da. It's a goddamn time machine, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For reasons you'll quickly come to realize. <laughs> the device runs on solar rechargeable batteries. Despite this, I want you to keep it hidden until you're out of town. Don't let anyone see you with it, especially in here. Mister, between the blood and all this space talk, you're making me quite dizzy. I'm not sure how I can help you other than by calling security and getting you to an ambulance. Just take the damn device and find me. You find me, you hear? <laughs> Go. <coughs> Go. Mister? Mister? Uh, I think he's dead. Uh, no, 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 he's... I think he's dead. Oh, God, help! I don't... Help! I need help in here! No, 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 shut up! Stay right there, sir. Listen, you gotta help me. There's a guy in there. He, there's a lot of blood. He needs help. I said, stay right there. I didn't move. But I, but I work here. You know me. I... <laughs> Keep your hands where I can see them. Palms flat against the wall. Spread your legs. The police are on their way. What? Seems like a dick move. Alright. I think I need to stop this here. Look, I don't want to After this cutscene. All I want is some simple answers to some simple questions. Do you want this to become complicated, do you? Because, uh, oh, we can do that, you know. Make things complicated. Is that what you want? No, sir. Yeah, didn't think so. Let's, uh, let's just keep this nice and informal, shall we? See, I'm a simple, easy-going fella. I try to be affable and not go too hard on people. That's what I find works the best. Now, my partner over here, he's a different kind of guy. A real stickler for the rules. Ain't that right, Burke? See, <laughs> I'm not too good with long, complicated answers. I confuse easily. Some kind of brain problem, I, I don't know. So sometimes I gotta consult him, you know, uh, in complicated matters. Uh, he's got a real talent for helping suspects simplify their statements. Thing is, uh, he's not much of a people person, so most people seem to prefer dealing with me. So tell you what. I give you some simple questions, you feed me some simple answers, and we're all home before Donahue. How's that sound? Now, do you mind telling me what this is? Take your time. I'm gonna end this right here, before anything happens. Anything else. So thank you all for watching this. Um, this game was called The Silent Age. I'm gonna keep playing right after this. But you guys won't see it until I put it up. But thank you all for coming to watch this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you all in the next video.
Later.